Number three then from the 2013 Advanced Higher Maths. Little matrices question. Two by two matrices. The first part is just what's A squared? So squaring that first matrix. That'll be 4P negative 2, 1 times itself. 4P negative 2, 1. The process for the multiplication of matrices is the scalar product of the row times the column. So then what we have for that is 16 minus 2P for the first entry. 4p plus p, which is 5p for that entry. That's the first row complete, now using the second row. Negative 8 take away 2 is negative 10. And negative 2p plus 1 will be 1 minus 2p. Part B, find the value of P for which this matrix, A squared, is singular. Well, that means I'll need its determinant. What's the determinant of A squared? Well, a bit more room needed here. That'll be the main diagonal, which is 16 minus 2P times 1 minus 2P, minus the other diagonal, which is negative 10 times 5P. Well, multiplying that out, I've got 4P squared, and that's positive. I'll put it to the front. Minus 32 and minus 2 is minus 34p plus a 16 plus 50p. Tidy that up and I'll have 16 overall for the p plus 16. Now it said a squared has to be singular. Well a squared will be singular if the determinant of a squared equals 0 which means 4p squared and 16p and 16 should equal 0. I'll just drop those 4s. So p squared plus 4p plus 4 should equal 0. And that's a perfect square there. I've got p plus 2 all squared. Square the first, square the last twice the product. p plus 2 squared is 0. So p equals negative 2. And part C, if B is equal to 3 times, and that stands for the transpose of A, find the values of P and X. Well, that says that B, which is X, negative 6, 1, 3, should be 3 times. Now, the transpose of A means to change each row into a column. The first row becomes the first column. The second row becomes the second column. So that x, negative 6, 1, 3 should become 3, 4s are 12. 3, negative 2s are negative 6. 3 times p is 3p. 3, 1s are 3. And if two matrices are meant to be equal to each other, their corresponding entries must all be equal to each other. So, so far so good, because these two match. Which means that that x should equal 12, and that's that done. And it also means that the 1 should equal 3p. I'll say and... 3p should equal 1. Well, that's that one finished, but in this case that means that p equals a third. Now, this was also two marks. That was considerably easier than those two marks. <laughs>